Emily is coming back from an injury. He talked to me like I was a freaking hypochondriac. Like, he's like, there's nothing wrong with you. I'm like, no, I know for sure. I know my body. And she wants to fly again. When she starts falling apart, me and my three coaches will have to win her confidence back. One of your goals is probably going to be to rip that thing off. <laughs> if the going gets tough, can she keep it together? Find out next on Camp Gym. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to be trying out for my Arizona Spirit Express senior squad. Emily is like the perfect athlete. She's beautiful, totally looks the part of a cheerleader. The reason why I need this camp is because I was a really good cheerleader. I was tumbling, I could do my back handspring, my back tuck, and I was do working on my running, tumbling, jumping. They even let me fly, and I never get put in the air, and that was always my dream was to be a flyer, and so I had this like one big shot. So I was up in the air, finally achieving my cheer dream, and I fell. All I could hear was, it was like, it was like one of these like, like a snap, snap. And then before I knew it, I was on the ground. I knew that it wasn't gonna be okay. I wasn't gonna compete, and I was done. I'm afraid to go 100% now, and I'm afraid to hurt myself. The first thought was that I just let everybody down, and they're never gonna put me in the air again, ever. I know exactly what she needs. She needs a shot of confidence from me. When my mom got married to Lee, and he adopted me officially as his daughter, growing up without a father all my life, made this a really important occasion for me. They sent me to a specialist who custom made a brace for me to feel sure, because as soon as you get afraid, that's when you hurt yourself. I thought I just got Emily used to the idea of concentrating on her academics and kind of letting cheer go, because uh, I didn't see the importance to it. I knew she wants to do it for some reason. You know, it's all very nice to talk about facing your fears, but uh, sometimes God gives you fear for a reason. Uh, <laughs> it's to keep you out of danger, right? I'm looking for Emily. Yeah, this is Emily. Emily, this is Jim. Oh, hi, Jim. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm hearing that you want to come to my camp. Yes, you heard right. Yeah, what for? I need help getting my confidence back and losing all the fear that I have in cheering. I want you to be ready for whatever I'm going to say. Okay. And when I tell you that you're coming to Camp Jim, I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself. <laughs> so does that mean I'm coming? That means you're coming. You're coming to Camp Jim. Are you serious? I am serious. That I is totally so stuck cool. It in Thank you him. so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to go. I'm stoked. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm totally ready. Yeah. You're Emily. No, I'm hi. Emily. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. How was your trip over? It was good. My knee, it was so bad that we were sitting on the plane for so long, I got up. Yeah, you just <laughs> tore your, head, your leg back behind you. Back <laughs> out. So, you're feeling okay? I'm great. Welcome to Camp Jim! <laughs> no one on the planet can do what we can do with a bad attitude, okay? If you're coming here, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. Never tell me can't. Okay, can't is like cursing me out. And you don't want to do that either. So you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel so good about cheering again. It's so addictive. I'm just really excited. It's just kind of one of those things that you just don't know what to expect. Three, four, five. One of your goals is probably going to be to rip that thing off, yeah. right? <laughs> to like, it's like a cute accessory, but <laughs> it doesn't go with everything. Right. So yeah, we'll work on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You all have been divided into three teams of six. Each of you will have a coach, and you'll each have a color. Kristen's team, Emily, Michelle, Kyle, Brianna, Jamie, and Jeff. And you are the green team. All right. Team Green's awesome, like we get along and we have so much fun. Like I don't think I've ever had so much fun in my life. 
it's like you've got like the most unexperienced cheerleader with like the most experienced cheerleader here. And one thing I've noticed is Jeff is an amazing athlete. How often do you have to ice your knee? Like three times a day. At least, yeah, yeah. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. from Team Green. All right, Emily, come here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna do some jumps, you're gonna show me a cheer, and then we're gonna talk about setting some goals for you and making sure that you'll be able to reach your goal and accomplish what you put your mind to. And that's it. So go on over there and show me a toe touch. One, two, three, four, five, six. All you have to do is keep your chest up. Hurdler, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six. Good job, good. So I'm thinking that jumps are not part of your goals because they're beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You're just amazing. Aww. So what is it that you need in order to make your team? I don't need a flyer, but I have to have at least my back hands work. So you have to have your back hands work? Yes. And how do you think your knee brace fits into all this? Do you think that eventually you'll be able to take it off? Someday. <laughs> yeah, someday. Like, how about before we leave? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I think getting the back handspring will, will be one challenge, but it'll also be being strong enough to say, I don't need this anymore, and I'm going to be the athlete I was before I had to wear it. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. The coaches and I are designing a cheer that is specific for each of you and will feature the skill that you need to master to make your team at home. At the end of camp, it's really gonna be exciting because then you are gonna perform that cheer in front of the whole camp. You've gotta get in your zone. I know what I'm doing. Imagine the crowd cheering you on. You've gotta get in your zone. A lot of it was just in my mind because of the traumatic experience I went through before. Okay. <laughs> You can do it. That was hard. Then then I started to freak out a little bit. <laughs> Don't look at me, please. You get off. I don't know why I can't get over this fear of tumbling. No, 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 no. like afraid of it. It's like I can't do it. And I'm so frustrated. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> I gotta throw it, right? Yes. Gotta, gotta have to. My goal here at camp is to finally get over my fear of tumbling. Got me? Yeah, and that's, wait, wait, wait. that's hard. <laughs> here, okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You're scaring me because you're like freaking out me. Oh, well maybe I just need to breathe. I'm shaky. I need a pep talk or something. My problem is though, like, because every time I do it on the floor, it hurts my shoulder. And like, I don't want it to just like... And then the problem is that then you baby that and that makes it worse. Can I throw another one and make sure it's good on that one? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Then no, then no sissing out on me. I need to calm down. Still don't feel comfortable doing a back handspring without being spotted. Baby ho, let's roll. Go back and stop praising Jesus when you're going. You're not in church. <laughs> Shut your shoulders. In. Oops, sorry. Can you right. see her arms? You're going like this. Hail! How do I keep them? Glory be! <laughs> I found Jesus! You are. What are you doing? I feel like almost a failure. I feel like I'm a big mess. Like I'm always hurting myself. You are not sitting, girlfriend. Ow. Yay. Sorry. Ow. That hurts my shoulder so bad. Jim said he's like, if you don't stop doing it, you're gonna pop it out of place. And it's like so close. It's just going. Do you not drink milk? <laughs> I hate milk. What's wrong with your joints? <laughs> I hate milk. I need to stop cheering. Do you think that you would be able to take off that knee brace and be able to do stuff like that? No. Why not? Because. Because why? What are you wearing it for? The purple monster on your leg, what, what do you need it for? I already got the skinny from your doctor. <laughs> your doctor's like, she doesn't need it. It's a mental thing. So what do you wear it for? Make me feel safe. <laughs> Makes you feel safe? Yeah. What else? I don't, I, when I wear it, I don't baby myself. Like, I've fallen a couple times in here, and I would have, like, just done something to it, so I know that 
It saved my leg a few times already. Right. But you know that on the inside your knee's okay? Yeah. And that you're really just wearing that just for... Mental. For up here. So we already know that your goal is to have a back handspring. So do you think we could also try to tie in the whole, I need to take off the purple beast? <laughs> the purple monster off my knee? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Once you've been injured, the hardest thing is to trust yourself and other people. Jeff has been a big help. Okay. You got me. I got you. Just jump, just jump. Just, just jump back. Just jump. Don't drop me. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're one of those guys. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Now slow your pushes. You can totally do it. It's just that little bit of timing. As far as like cheering goes, it's so hard. Like when I came here, I realized how passionate I really am about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch you do a back handspring. <laughs> Hopefully, all the things that I've said, the mistakes that you're making, you'll be able to say them without even thinking about it. You see my feet? Yeah. I step back with one foot so I can push off with it. My left foot. I never realized how big that brace on is. It? <laughs> it's so big. I didn't even realize it until we like got out and saw it. Like I didn't even think it was that big. It's like half my body. Now that I know how bad it looks, I know that like what I need to do to fix it. Thank Just you. Call me Jim. All right. Jim. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. <laughs> Miracle man. <laughs> Miracle man's good. <laughs> okay. You got it. Confidence. Oh, diva. <laughs> you are. I think this is so cool. Like, she's so much like me, and it's so great to have someone who's like you that's in cheer. Like, sometimes I think, like, why am I here? Because I'm like, I want to be able to walk when I'm 60, but he's already like, yeah, you probably need a knee replacement. So I'm like, well, if I'm already going to need one. The damage is done. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Today, the focal point is for Emily. So we really have to pump her up and help her get it and everything like that, okay? So she is... This is Emily's cheer. Do you need to put your brace on? No, time? I don't want to put it on. Put just this. Okay. Well, at lunchtime, make sure you ice or whatever Woo! you need to do. Okay. I'm glad you're not depending on that as much. I feel like, you know, they're putting me in the air, and I'm getting a chance to fly, and, like, that is, like, my dream. Five, six, seven, Kyle's eight. Kyle's dropping below his belly button. Okay, don't drop Sorry. below. She's tattling on, on you. <laughs> Ready. Yeah. Be aggressive okay. and tight. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. When I fell, I heard a pop, and then I realized that I had hurt my good knee. This one's gonna stay with you, okay? It was just the same pop. Then I heard I dislocated my other knee. I know I dislocated it. You're gonna be fine. Something like this happens and just scares me so bad. Hi, sweetie. You're all right. I had to go to the emergency room. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two! <laughs> Not everything is the way you planned it, and I didn't plan, like, dislocating my knee. You're all right. But at the same time, I know it could be so much worse. Emily. Thanks, Emily. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Snappy! Hey, Kristen. What'd they say? He talked to me like I was a freaking hypochondriac. Like, he's like, there's nothing wrong with you. I'm like, no, I know for sure. I know my body. I know I did right. something wrong. He's been injured in that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I hurt my other knee, and I'm, like, so aware of it. You know? I know. The only time I cried was when I couldn't walk. Right. That scared me so bad. I don't think I've ever been, like, because I knew just what happened with my other knee, but... What? Come and love me. So what does this mean for the rest of camp? I'm thinking, hopefully by Thursday, I can start, like, I, probably not jumping, but, like, just doing my stuff, I, I think, I'm hoping, so. Ever since I came here, like, I feel so passionate about the sport, like, again, you know, it's, like, renewed it in me. And then this happens, and I'm like, you know what I mean? I don't know what to think, because, like, it scared me so bad. Like, that's the last thing I would want to do is blow out another knee and, like, be crippled forever. The reason why that we've been trying to prepare you and drill you and drill you and drill you is because you are going to NCA camp for the next four days! NCA stands for the National Cheerleaders Association, and they have camps all over the country all summer long where the best cheerleading squads train. All of you have learned one cheer. At camp, you are going to do your cheer with your team in front of 200 other campers. So basically, you have two or three more days to nail your skills, make sure you know your cheers, and be able to throw it 
in front of 200 people. Now that I can't jump, I'm helping everyone out and coaching a little bit. And since I've done all this before, it's kind of nice. I can help the flyers and the bases out. So that's pretty much what my job is for today. Yeah. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> How's that face go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, I thought you like constipated at first, and then you like frustrated. And I'm like, oh. I really did make friends with Kyle. Um, he's been really like a really good friend, really there for me. I think everybody's gonna do fine. Everybody's gonna nail their chair. I'm really excited about tomorrow. I just really, 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 really hope that I can throw my back handspring because that's what I came here for, and I don't want to let myself down. So I hope that I have like a miracle <laughs> and I'm all healed by tomorrow. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right, all of these young men and women have worked for two weeks to throw their skills that they need to have for their team to try out when they leave here tomorrow. So they want to come out and actually cheer in front of real cheerleaders like you guys. You guys excited? All right. I really want to do this. I need to throw my back handspring. I just don't trust my knee. Come on, Emily, you got it, you got it. You ready? Come on. Ready. Snapping like an ugly. Team is here. We will let you down. Work it. Jim with a bat. Emily didn't throw her back handspring, but I hope she got something out of camp. I feel like a loser not doing my back handspring in my cheer. But this experience has reignited my passion for the sport. I can't believe camp is over. Emily, you make me want to work harder. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can do it. I never thought I could until I met you. <laughs> I know you can do it. Thanks. If you know you can do it, then everything will be fine. because this is what I've been waiting for and like working towards so hope it all goes good my knee's feeling actually pretty good it's my good knee that I'm a little unconfident about you guys are here finally ready to try out Emily <laughs> you know what you have to do I need to see that back handspring all I'm asking is that you guys give us all of your effort 110 percent okay <laughs> moment of truth all right Ready? <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going. <sighs> yes. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. Ready? Overall, how do you feel like it? I was glad I threw it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So okay. proud of you. Well, you made the squad. Okay. Now I feel. So I really. Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel good. Okay. We have another surprise for you. We're gonna have you fly this year. Are you serious? <laughs> you really are. Huh? Oh, that's what I've been wanting for so long. <laughs> All right. Give me a hug. I was gonna say I need a hug. <laughs> I'm hugging myself over here. Good job. Thanks, Corey. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Is this Emily? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm so good. I got some really good news. You have good news? Yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. I threw that handspring by myself. Yay! I made the squad. Awesome. That, that was good. I'm a flyer. They're letting me fly this year. I am just so proud of you. Just thank you for everything. It really means a lot to me. Alrighty, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. After all that I've been through, that I'm still here, that I made my squad, and that, that the heart, my heart is still in it. Thank you. Key personality, lose it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Back. On the next, Camp Jim. Jeff is a cheerleader with all the moves, except the one he wants the most. 
Can he get the help he needs at Camp Jim? Are you all right? Or will his attitude <laughs> and his growing affection for one of his teammates send his hopes crashing to the ground? Saw you standing there, highway broken down, thought I'd pull over.